Good evening. We have tonight the first pictures of the aftermath of the U.S. attack on that fleet of Chinese merchant vessels that had crossed into the total exclusion zone. The pictures you are seeing were shot from a Navy helicopter searching for survivors. There were none. Sonia Marshall at the White House. Is the president talking? Jim, no word from the president himself, but his press aide, Stan Oakley, gave an informal briefing. No one with a shred of humanity can be anything but distressed by the loss of civilian life. But we must make it quite clear. These vessels were entering an exclusion zone which was clearly identified to the Chinese leadership as an area within which any vessel could be attacked. We're investigating suggestions that the Chinese leadership deliberately failed to warn this fleet and allowed the ships to become sitting targets, a sacrifice for their own propaganda purposes. Jim, that line about sacrifice has been heard before, and sources here stress that it is not intended as a device to deflect any outrage at the loss of civilian life, but a genuine theory as to why the Chinese would allow these vessels to sail towards disaster. Sonia, the Chinese government clearly sees an opportunity with these pictures, a chance to perhaps divide the U.S. from its allies, who have until now supported the U.S. military's involvement in the Spratleys. Listen to the Chinese ambassador a few moments ago. The world can see clearly now the inhumane and vicious nature of this American government. To hear the outrageous allegation that the leaders of the People's Republic would sacrifice their people is to make one shudder with outrage. This from a country where Waco and Ruby Ridge have become synonymous with government violence against its own people. That's the Chinese ambassador's spin. Admiral Jeb Thomas, how do you see it? It was a stark choice. The United States could either let those vessels pass through the zone, allowing the Chinese forces to resupply and put up stronger resistance against our own fighting men and women, or they could sink those ships. The pictures are horrible, but I think the correct choice was made. We're going to the South China Sea now, where we have just made our first contact of the day with our own Sally Jarvis on the Independence. Sally, we understand this has been a very frightening day. Jim, at dawn this morning, Whoa, a no squadron helmets. of Chinese fighter bombers attacked the U.S. battle group. The mystery is, where did they come from? Intelligence had not picked up any air base on the Spratlys capable of handling these planes. Given the danger, we will be spending most of our time from now on below deck. Sally, are you okay? Jim, I'm fine. They got close, but there were no U.S. casualties. However, there is clearly a sense on board here that this war is entering a more dangerous phase. Be careful, Sally. Good afternoon and welcome back to Let's Play Tom Clancy SSN. In this mission, if you watch the news briefing, uh, a group of Chinese fighter attack aircraft um, got within pretty good range of the independence. They didn't get any missiles off, or maybe they did. They didn't hurt anyone. They didn't, like, w uh, damage any ships or anything, but uh, it's evidence that they are building, that the Chinese are building airstrips in the Spratly Islands, so we're to proceed to Waypoint Charlie and loose our Tomahawk land attack missiles. They are equipped with cluster munition uh, to maximize the amount of damage they can do to runways and stuff, instead of just putting, like, one big hole in the runway make all these little tiny holes it's harder to repair than just one big hole I suppose or something and if you if there's like planes around like the scattering can like take out a larger area of planes than just one big bomb or whatever but yeah so we are told to expect SSK and SSN resistance uh, is there a message waiting for me I didn't even read that but we're pretty much already at the waypoint which is interesting but uh I'm actually gonna go up because I don't know if someone if there's a message waiting for me or not. But yeah, I'm gonna... It might be a little harder for me to hear stuff in the mission today. I went to a, a Finch show last night, and uh, I was standing pretty much right next to, like, the big speaker. I don't know what you really call them. Not, I love music, but I don't know anything about it, like how to make it or what any of the things are called. But I was pretty much standing, like, right next to one of the speakers, and uh, my one ear is definitely more deaf than the other ear. Oh, I'm already in the top layer. Okay, very good. But, uh, yeah, it was awesome show. I love Finch. 
Oh, I was so close. Like, the lead singer was responding to stuff. I was yelling, and he was, like, freaking... He dapped me up at the end of the show. It was awesome, man. I was geeking out like a little schoolgirl. But, uh, man, this top layer is really shallow. All right, well, we're almost up there. Wow, it's really shallow. We're at 180 feet, and we're still on the top layer yet, man. It's crazy, dude. All right, should we get our message any second now? Okay, we do have comms waiting. Very good. Sink pack fleet to Cheyenne. Be advised, enemy ASW patrol ahead. Expect one skimmer, one helo, and possible SSK escort. Very well. I think we're ready to move on. Nope, not yet. Almost at the waypoint. Okay, now we're at the waypoint. No, we're not. Now oh, we're close. New star contact. Whoa. Who is this? Oh, this is probably a uh, resupply. Um. Yeah, that's the floor stall. Okay. All right. I guess this is just like some little like briefing waypoint. Well, we're pretty much at the uh, just about at the waypoint. Be there any second. I'm surprised we're honestly not at it yet. We're right here. W. Sir, we need to proceed to the waypoint area. What do you call that, man? We're right on top of it. <laughs> hmm. Full storm into tomahawks. Oh, well, give me some positive ballast. Or negative ballast, rather. Waypoint yet? Dude! Are we at the waypoint yet, man? Like, it's right frickin'. Okay, moving on. There we go. Whoa, that's a big seamount right up there. SSK. Hello. Am I detecting behind the seamount? It's interesting. Is he gonna run into the hill, too, like that Alpha did? <laughs> God. I couldn't believe that happened. That's ridiculous, man. What the hell? Who does that? I guess if you don't have good charge of the area. But, yeah, I mean... This game is pretty, like, um pretty representative of what the modern battlefield is going to be, you know, these, like, littoral operations. I mean, this water, granted, can get pretty deep with all this, like, varying terrain and stuff. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Was he shallow? Was he going shallow or was he going deep? Either way, we lost him. Either way, we shouldn't have even picked him up behind that seamount. But yeah, stuff like this makes, like, perfect, perfect perfect region for an ambush. The SSKs, they don't have to worry about dirt clogging their, uh, their like, reactor pumps because they don't have a reactor, so they can just, like, sit on the bottom and just wait till they hear someone and then spring up and just, like, attack our asses. They did say there will be a skimmer coming up. I don't know if it's at this waypoint or at waypoint Charlie. Holy crap, we're pretty far from the center. <laughs> Almost about a thermocline. Give me a little more positive balance. Okay, we're up here. Hello. Surface. 97 knots. Oh, the helo's actually maneuvering this time. And I can pick it up for whatever reason. Where the hell did that kilo go? I think he went deep. There's some really close layers on this map. But I just don't want to run into that seamount. That's a seamount gets pretty high. We're being pinged. Son of a bitch, being pinged. that Hilo heading for me? No, he's just circling around. Kilo is heading for me, though. Let's head for him. I can do the same thing, mister. Well, no, I want to go this way so I can get to this deeper water up here. I don't want to be skimming this seamount. I want to be able to get beneath the layer if I have to. Well, it looks like there's two other contacts up here, but for now, I just want to... I can control how many people know about me, so I'm going to go back down. Just so the kilo is the only thing I have to worry about. I don't need this helo vectoring towards me. Or any kind of s cans or anything. Skimmers, as they call it. I call them a can, man. It's a tin can. At least modern day ships are. Battleships back in the day were in tin cans. Alright, he's still deeper than me. He might be the next. Holy crap, well. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Don't hit the bottom. Don't be pulling that crap again. Dude, oh my god, dude, I told you to put fucking positive ballast. Holy shit. Oh, don't hit the bottom, don't hit the bottom. Alright, I think we're good. Jesus Christ, man. 
I could have sworn I said positive vows, and then it, went, it, it stayed a negative, and I was like, holy crap, we're heading for the bottom. All right, this guy's getting closer and closer by the second. Oh, I didn't realize I had a about down angle. Oh, God, dude. Oh, my God. I'm being so sloppy right now. Holy shit. I can't even tell if he's still pinging us. Man, I'm playing really sloppy. All right, he's turned away. Has he secured from pinging? Well, let's head his way. Yeah, now we got opening up to some deep water, which is nice. Alright, now I'm neutral ballasting and neutral. Oh, well, hello. Leveling out the planes. Okay, he's heading away from me at the same freaking speed. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna catch up to him. Let's go beneath the second layer and then speed it up. Okay, maybe this guy doesn't know I'm here. It looks like he's just on like a patrol box. I can't even tell. If, I don't even know if he's still pinging. All right, where's that bottom? I'm kind of close to the bottom here. Let's head off this way. It's confusing because it says page up, and that does positive ballast, and then insert is negative ballast. No, I got that wrong again. Page up does negative ballast, and then insert does positive ballast. On its page up, you're kind of like, um, should be positive ballast, right? <laughs> right let's see if this guy disappears when I drop beneath this layer. Yeah. We're still getting kind of close to the bottom, but we're heading away from it. Yeah, he just started pinging again. But whatever. I don't, we need to kind of like catch up to this dude. And we are slowly but surely making progress towards the center of the map. Yeah, this freaking Kilo. Yeah, he's shallower than me now. Why? He shouldn't be picking me up on the active storm. He's facing the same... He's facing away from me, man. Well, I'm in his baffle, so let's... Juice it up so I can catch up to this twerp. You can see his cavitation bubbles. Do you make cavitation bubbles when you make turns for 13 knots? I don't. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, there's no one else out here, really. I don't know where that skimmer is. I know there's a heat of up there. Don't know where that can is. There's a can somewhere. There were some uh, transient lines when I was up there at the top layer, but no point in making it easy for the helo, so I'll stay all the way to hell down here. I don't know if Chinese helos have dipping sonars. I mean, like, they model that in this game, so... Whatever. Oh, slowly but surely catching up to this kilo. I wonder if I should actually slow down. There might be other subs in this area. I can are you, I can just employ sprint and drift or something. Just juice it up and then drift. All they hear right now is my flow noise. I'm kind of gaining on him. He's really just like going somewhere fast. <laughs> I assume we gotta we probably gotta clear this area out too before we can move on. So we'll have to go up there and find that skimmer eventually. But thankfully they don't make you take out helos because that wouldn't even be possible. Maybe if you got underneath one and launched a tomahawk at it. Ugh. I don't know if there's another layer or not. I don't think there is. There might be. It's probably really far down there. All right, well, we're, we're coming down to his speed, so let's juice up to full power again for our sprint and drift. Wow, I really wish Dangerous Waters modeled this speed like the submarine speed acceleration like a Tom Clancy SSN does. That would just be the best. 
Because when you come out of like flank speed, like you're st you still have to deal with all that flow noise. Like it takes a few minutes to slow down without like putting the propeller on reverse or something. But they just make it so like it slows down. The reason I can think is maybe because like for the TMA, because like a sub could be making turns for three knots, but still drifting at like 15 knots, and that would just be like really hard to compensate for. I mean, that's one thing I've thought of, but I can't really think of why they would do it otherwise. Okay, he's turning around. Slow down. Because that's something that I was thinking of, because like in the demon display, it seems to be showing like how fast the sub is actually going instead of what's making turns for. Because you can make the turns like instantly, which is what you should be picking up. Like you might be going five knots, but if you just started making turns for flank, like your pro your propeller will be turning at the same speed that it will be when you're at flank speed. It's just uh, you're not going that speed yet. So that's the only thing I can think of is that discrepancy would be con would make it even more confusing to make solutions in that game. Okay, I don't think he knows I'm here. I think he's just in a patrol box or something. But he's we are rapidly closing now. I'm not even. I need to bleed off some speed so I can actually launch a torpedo. Because he's. We're rapidly. I'm about to launch. As soon as. Uh, yeah, this is good. Fire. Um, yeah, <laughs> this, I mean, he's going at such a speed that he wouldn't even, oh, he's going shallow, son of a bitch. Up we go. Is he pinging? He is pinging. Is he? I thought I heard a ping, but I don't hear him anymore. I think it just secured from pinging. I just lost him off my scope. Okay, well, head for his last direction because we're going to be doing that passing underneath the layer maneuver again. It seems to be my trademark maneuver in this game. Wait for him to pass above me in the layer and then launch when they're right above me, <laughs> which is a ridiculous proposition. Um. Torpedo should be. Oh, there he is. He just went active again, and the torpedo went right by him fast. Oh, that torpedo is swinging around. It's probably going to run out of fuel first. But maybe not. Damn, those pings are really loud. Yeah. I would ping where there's no sense in giving away my position. People don't know I'm here, besides the key, though. Boom. One two. You're about to take the old one two, Mr. Kilo. There you go. All right, let's go up. Let's go up so I can figure out where that can is. Make turns for four knots. Twenty degree rise. I don't know why they're like their go-to maneuver is always to frickin' surface. It makes no sense to me. Like we're not like submarines. Like in World War Two. Okay, so some of you asked like. If I prefer World War II submarines or Cold War submarines, they're very different ships with very different roles. A World War II submarine is basically a surface ship that can dive for short amounts of time. Like that, like uh, that sharp knife blade type bow is meant for cutting through um, surface water. Like modern submarines are meant to be submerged and can, from time to time, surface if they have to. <laughs> like that's that's how it's supposed to work. It's just a whole different dynamic. Like modern day submarines are supposed to like be sneaking around and not trying to be found. Holy fuck. Oh god, what is that? Oh, he's launching little depth bombs at me. Well fire. Should have launched a fast at him. Uh, make this one a fast fire. I mean he found me quickly. I was I was just like sneaking around. He's already launching his little depth bombs and shit. I just need to get out of here with these freaking death bombs. Crash dive. <laughs> Thankfully they're not really getting close to me, but still. Get out of there. Closing on waypoint Bravo. 
Oh, well, he's done. I think my torpedoes like ended up going like the same speed and close at the same time. <laughs> Why are there still death bombs coming? He's dead. Alright, well, we're, we're very close. We're kind of close to the waypoint, so I'm just going to juice it up here. No, don't be stupid. One third is fine. No rush. Just want to stay away from that helo, but I think I'm going to end up passing like right underneath of him or something. Alright, so let's go really, let's just go really fucking deep then. Dude, look at that thing. It has a huge hole in the back of it. I don't even think I got a classification on it. I just launched. Yeah, that's crazy. Is that thing going to implode before it gets to the bottom? Probably. 